Hey guys, this is Serenity Approaches, you are watching. Uh, today I made a video on the Online Quarios um, channel. I am the Wednesdays. And I... The subject... The subject of this week was about bullying. And I stated what the... What it was like to be bullied because you were gay or... And how to overcome it and get through with it, whatever. And I um, started going off into this, like this rant thing about if you are not, if you are pretending to be somebody you are not, you are not going to be happy. <clears throat> Stuff like that. Excuse me. Um, I was I was going to um, make a video on the example that I was going to go out onto in that video, but I was already kind of off task a little bit in the video and I didn't want to get further off task, so I was just like, I'll just make a separate video. Um, if you want to watch that video, it'll be the down in the description. So, <clears throat> but, um, I'm gonna, today I'm going to tell you a story of something I went through. Um, I was having a hard time, um, again, I was pretending to be somebody I was not. I was changing myself for others, not to benefit, benefit myself, but to benefit other people. Um, and I changed in ways where I didn't understand who I was. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know the difference between right and wrong. I didn't know how to respond to people and or things. I just did not know who I was anymore. I didn't know who like, what I wanted, who I wanted to be with, I didn't know, you know, like, I just, um, but these are one of the examples, okay, there's this guy I used to be friends with, <clears throat> believe me, we're not friends anymore after this, but he knew I was gay for, I think it was like a few months, but I remember, okay, because he came into school, it was the first time I met him. The first day I met him, he was in my CW class, my creative writing class, and uh, he was my partner. He ended up being my partner on this um, kind of like a project thing where we had to like write a like a short story, kind of like and all this kind of stuff. He he really likes to write, you know. I mean, I do too. I mean, I love to write, but um, you know. He and I got along. We got along really well. Um, <clears throat> next thing you know, he friends me on Facebook. And he messages me. He goes, are you kidding me? He's like, are you seriously, are you only interested in women? He goes, he goes, please tell me you're bi. And I was like, no. I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm gay. He's like, son of a, he's like, you know what? I am so ticked at you. He goes, I, I really liked you. I really like you, you know? And he's like, and you, I find out you're gay, you know? And I'm just like, sorry. I'm like, I hope we can still be friends. He goes, well, yeah, you know, but you know, he was just j joking around about being ticked at me and everything. And I mean, I understood that <laughs> because he was just trying to make it funny, but, um, so we became really good friends. Um, and then, uh, he, He, um, what the hell? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you know, we became really good friends, and he and I started hanging out daily. Um, and then he, throughout the whole entire time, he still had a crush on me, and we were talking on the phone this one night. And he asked me, he goes, how do you know if you're gay if you've never, you never had a relationship with a guy? Because he asked me, I'm sorry, I went too ahead. He asked me, he goes, have you ever dated a guy? I was like, kind of, but not really. I'm like, I don't really know how to explain it. And he goes, well, how do you know if you're gay if you've never actually had a relationship, an actual relationship with a guy? And like I said, I didn't know who I was then. So I was just like, you know what, you're right. I wasn't thinking right at the time. 
But I was like, you know what? You're right. He was like, well, you know, why don't you try it with me? And I was just like, okay. Like, I agreed. He and I started hanging out daily. I mean, we were making out and he was talking about having sex. I don't know. But, I mean, we never did. I shouldn't have said that. But, <laughs> but, um, and then, like, I was talking to him because I was like, just, it doesn't feel right, you know? I don't, I don't feel anything. I don't feel a connection. I don't feel a spark. I don't, I'm not happy, you know, with you being that way towards me, you know? Like, I just, I want you as a friend and that is it, you know? And I was talking to him because he goes, why don't you give it at least a week, you know, and let me know. Like, cause, and if you don't like it within a week or so, like, we can just end it there and we can, you know, still be friends. And I was like, okay, sounds, sounds fair, you know. And I think it was like a week or two. I think it might've been two. I gave it, I think two weeks. And I told him, I said, listen, I said, you're a nice guy. I mean, you have all the qualities that I want in a woman. I'm like. And you, you treat me well. You are a nice guy. You are, you are a good guy. I said, I just, I don't feel it. And he was, he was, a, he was a really, um, decent guy. I mean, he, I mean, he treated me well. He, you know, was honest with me. He was sweet. I mean, he had all the qualities I wanted within a woman, but he was not a woman. And I told him, I said, I like you for you, I said, but I don't like your package, is what I was trying to say. And he was like, well, you know, and then he told me he loved me. And I was like, if you love me, then get a sex change. <laughs> and he was like, that's not going to happen. But I was just kidding around with him. He's like, but that's not going to happen. I was like, yeah, well, you know, and, and we ended up, you know, ending it there. And I guess he got really upset with me. He kept trying to change my mind, like, oh, well, you know, we can talk this out, or we could try it again, or, like, how are you absolutely sure, or what am I doing wrong, or whatever, and I was just like, you're not doing anything wrong. The only thing you're doing wrong is you're trying to push me. And honestly, that's another thing that drove us apart, you know. We ended up getting into this big fight. I don't remember if it was because of that or because of something else, but, um, we're not friends anymore. Um, he turned out to be a real a asshole. I mean, a real asshole. And I don't see him anymore. I don't talk to him anymore. And that's that. And let me tell you something. Lesson learned. <laughs> because... I doubted myself. I, like I said, I, I didn't know who I was anymore. Because I changed myself for other people. And I didn't know who I was anymore. I didn't know who I wanted. I didn't know what I wanted. I mean, it was a really hard time for me. But after that, I think I put, I was able to put myself back together. And I stopped. I was like, you know what? Screw it. This is who I am. This is who I want to be. This is how I'm going to be. If you don't like it, back off. You know, like, if you don't like me for who I am, then you don't deserve the time of day if you were just going to sit there and criticize me. You know? So I just... I put myself back together, and that's how it was. So that's the story about, that's the moral of the story, is to be who you are. Don't be somebody else just because you want to make somebody else happy. You're not living your life for them. You're living your life for you. You are trying to make you happy, not them. You don't live to impress somebody. You don't live 
to make somebody else's life better, I guess. I don't know how to put that, but if somebody does not accept you for who you are, don't waste your time on them, please. Because I'm telling you, it does. It hurts. It is the worst feeling in the world. The worst. I've done it I don't know how many times. Not only for friends, but for family members as well. And when I realized, because I didn't even realize I was changing for family members. I was like, whoa, who is this person? You know, I mean, that's sad. I mean, I shouldn't have to change for my family. And with friends, as far as friends go, I mean, there was this one girl I was friends with, with for three years, and her and I fought constantly. Like, a daily... Like, seriously. And then, like, it'd be, like, every hour we fought. But I didn't care. Because I loved her. I did. I loved her. And honestly, I loved her. That's why I changed myself for her. I didn't change myself for, to benefit me. I changed myself to benefit... Us. Her and I. So we had an on and off relationship. I'm sorry, not relationship. Friendship. <laughs> um, friendship. Friendship. Believe me, it was just a friendship. <laughs> but I did love her more than a friend. I mean, that you know. <laughs> but um, I changed myself multiple times for her. Because I felt that it, I was the problem. I thought I was the problem. I thought it was always my fault. But then I and then I soon realized it's like, wait a minute, it takes two. It doesn't just take one, it takes two. You know? I mean, hey, I mean be who you are. I'm telling you, it is the best feeling in the world to be if you are who you are, you feel more free. You feel more open. You feel like you have more options and different ways to respond to things and people. And it is much more better. I am telling you. Okay, don't pretend to be somebody you're not. If you are gay, do not pretend to be straight. Okay, it is your decision. And by all means, whatever your decision is, whatever you feel is right, do it. But do not make the decision to be somebody you're not. Because you will end up having the worst life. And that won't end very well. I'm telling you, I've been there and I've done that. I don't know how many times. And it is the worst feeling in the world. I'm not lying. I actually sunk so low. I honestly, I did things that people even thought, whoa. Serena did that? What? You know, it's just like... I mean, people were confused. People people didn't even know who I was anymore. Because literally, with every single person, I had a separate personality. This person, I'd be this kind of person. This person, I'd be this kind of person. This family member, I'd be this kind of person. This friend, I'd be this kind of person. You know, I just... My personality is varied. It's like I had a... I had all these kind of people in one body. Like I was schizophrenic or something. I mean, li not literally, but you know what I mean. My camera's starting to screw up. Well, I'm gonna go. Because my camera's really screwing up. Okay. For watching this video. And again, if you want to watch uh, the video that I made this week, uh, which I just got done film filming before I filmed this one, um, I'll put the link down in the description. Um, again, this week was about bullying and how we coped with it and that kind of stuff. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Remember, you and you will be loved, I promise. You be you, I be me. We all love each other. Because I love you!